Hot Wings in the Morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Cloudy today, breezy. Showers are a possibility. Temperatures falling into the 30s. About 37 now. Rain on the way. To the north, it's already here. Uh, they're expecting gale force winds along the lakeshore, 45 miles an hour. That means big waves, mm. choppy waters, and people out there. Okay, we have two news stories. We don't really know anything about either one of them. <laughs> I'm intrigued with both. I well, I'm a little more intrigued with yours. Okay, let's go. Let's try it. Uh, this this might be very short. It might be nothing. Fox 17. I don't know uh, where to report, find it. By the way, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, about uh, the county, uh, Branch County. Uh, installing panic buttons in county buildings, uh, which I assume for for anything that may go haywire. Which, if that's the case, maybe uh, is there going to be a day where everybody has a panic button in their, like all workplaces or lots of them? It might become standard procedure. Hell, I think they ought to. It can't be that expensive, right? What did it do? Just <laughs> electronically sell? Well, they'll probably tell us. Right. Michelle DeSelms, Derek Francis. Heightened security many government buildings now have extra systems in place to protect employees, even bulletproof glass in some cases. Yeah, but in one Southwest Michigan County, employees say they don't feel safe enough dealing with certain customers, so they're hopeful the addition of some new panic buttons will help. Fox 17's Lauren Edwards has more from Branch County. In some areas, and when you walk into a government building, there's a double-paned, bulletproof window separating you from the clerk. But that's not the case here in Branch County. It's an open space office that sometimes leaves employees feeling scared when situations get out of control. People are getting more aggressive, and if you disagree this with This is them, uh, a lover of cats and the director of oh. deeds, Nancy. Yep. Yeah. I have Sir, orange and short hair. <laughs> I'm not sense. equipped to fight people. Let's have <laughs> let's have a little contest. Do you guys know where Branch County is? Hell no. Hot wings? Um, I think it's near the border. Steve? What border? Of Indiana <laughs> and Michigan. <laughs> what border? It really would have to be that one since it's here in southwest Michigan. <laughs> right, right. He's not gonna say Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's somewhere near the Belize border. Hot Wings is right. It is. Uh, what is the largest town in the county of Branch? Steve, take it away. Oh, that's Branch. You wish. The town of Branch. Joe? Yeah. Well, that made a perfect sense to me. I'm going to say Springfield. <laughs> Hot Wings? I'm going to say Three Rivers. Shelbyville? Uh, no, it, it, it's in the middle of the state. Three Rivers is along oh. the lakeshore. Cold water Dummy. is... I know. <laughs> Idiot. The largest city is cold water. Oh, man. Okay, well, is... let's do more Branch County trivia. This is okay. dude, All right. oddly yeah, fun. Do. Who I'm... settled there? And they were okay. like, what should we name our town? Well, the water is cold, of yeah. course. Yeah. It was settled by thing. John Branch. It was created in 1833. What is the population of Branch County? 600. <laughs> Steve says 600. Hot wings? I'm going to say uh, 9,000. You say 9,000? Yeah, for the whole county. Joe? 58. <laughs> 58 people. 43,000 people. 45,000 people. I was way closer. <laughs> All right, back to this. Yeah, where, where on this, to this. Where this, uh, this, lady, <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this, this knitted sweater is talking about how scary people are. Oh, my God. As she's seeing more and more customers get angrier over the years. As people have come in yelling and screaming about an issue they can't solve, and her staff struggles to calm them down. Like what, Typically math? in these situations, it's <laughs> I, be best to I believe that. Help, you get some but... of the rural areas, man. You get some characters. No way. I'm from the rural areas. Everyone's nice. Oh, boy. Mm. Kind terrifying there's no security Weird. in the building with our telephone system that we have if we call 911 it shows up that it's somewhere in the county that is trying it to shows call up as pizza hut man <laughs> so it's pretty useless so unless you're there on the phone and can say okay we need assistance in the register of deeds office they don't know where to go well that now is that is a dumb system that seems like a real big flaw but like, from where she is she if she dials 911 in her office she can probably hear it ringing in the office it goes yeah, to no down the kidding. hallway you would think yeah the police can't be terribly far away you hear the phone ring you're in danger and you hear the person both through the phone and down the hallway pick up and say ahoy hoy what's your emergency she's probably 911 dispatch yes. hello Where yes are you? i'm afraid what what's going on <laughs> there's a guy here 
How can I help you? I need 10 kittens ASAP. Okay, I'll get Earl on that office nearby are getting the help they've been asking for. Commissioners approved installing panic buttons, which cost about $6,700, and they're putting them in the offices so the employees can instantaneously alert authorities to harmful situations. We've had occasion where we've had to call the security officer to come in just to stand in the doorway because we've had some, someone in there that, you know, uh, one of my staff tried to deal with, my chief deputy tried to deal with, I, they call me out, I tried to deal with and um, they get to the point where they're getting very irate. And you know this panic button is going to get pushed every time a minority like a black or Lutheran walks in. <laughs> When come in and well, say, obviously. you know, you, it's time to go. Branch County Clerk Terry Kabashik says people get angry over many issues these days, including gun licenses. When the new concealed Okay, well now I'm on their license- side. Yeah. Um, yeah. If somebody's freaking out at you about a gun license, that's just going to make you a little agitated, I suppose laws went into effect this past December, which removed gun boards and made them overseers of the paperwork, her office immediately requested additional security. I have an office staff um, of five uh, ladies that work for me. That being and said, I don't think it's the people that are applying for a license that are the ones you need to be most afraid of. Or maybe it is. You know, they just no. need they need a license to be legal, but they're not too worried about it. They'll do it anyway. Mm hmm. Yeah, they probably already have it. It's just a formality. It's a concern for all of us that we have some additional security because our security officer also works in the circuit court. So if he has to be up in the courtroom um, for the judge, then there may not be security at the desk. Wait, so you got Kibosh one dude? Said, yeah. Come on, Rusty, the protect the town. <laughs> also approved hiring another part-time security officer. So now there's someone patrolling the building at all times. In Branch County, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. I mean, I'll never be one for growing government, but I'm okay with having an extra security guy in the county. It seems so. <laughs> I mean, it seems yeah. like the right move. I mean, because even if you've got panic buttons, if you're that thin on police you're probably still going to be in pretty bad shape. But that is a part of the state that I know that I've never really been to. You know, I grew up in, in no. mid Michigan. So yeah. the thumb and, and Northern Michigan was kind of where we spent our time. No, man, you don't go there. You don't, these are places you don't stop in. It's just a melting pot of poor genes, a bunch of leftovers from the eighties crack epidemic <laughs> preemies. Yep. Everybody who was on their way to Chicago, <laughs> but didn't have enough money to get there. Preemies. It's like perpetual preemies. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like for, well, yeah. of the well, forty-five thousand, twenty thousand are under. Yeah, are underdeveloped, still on yeah. ventilators. Yeah, they all. Well, they all grew up, but they're all unusually small. Yeah. You've never seen an entire village of incubators. <laughs> That's where, how they sleep at night. Nine one one. Where's your crime? It's by the pod farm. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. When they get when they get tired, they all crowd together and rock back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> And then somebody got to plug them back in. Just a brain damage gazpacho of a town. Mm. Yeah. That being said, this panic button seems like a good idea for a lot of places. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's Eve 6, Inside Out, 97.9 GRD Rocks. I would swallow my pride.